well hello hello to my dear subscribers and supporters long time i didn't record my tutorial i mean using my voice but now i'm here finally so let's see how we can create this simple but awesome infographic so first i will change color for the background format background right click on the mouse and you can change the color then i will insert my favorite shape and that's circle shape and hollow circle shape this is hollow circle shape no outline and color for the fill is white here i'm adjusting the width and height for this circle then here i'm inserting circle shape no outline color here i'm choosing shape fill color it's almost dark blue so here i'm adjusting as you can see this circle inside this hollow circle then i'm selecting both of them and i'm grouping them into one group here i'm just copying some text i'm inserting text box i'm using montserrat as usually for my font i'm changing here color for the text Here I'm inserting another text box where I'm pasting the text I copied before. I'm centering this text. I'm changing color and I'm moving it inside this circle. Then here I'm thinking about something, what should I do next? Then I'm inserting this kind of shape where I can adjust corners for this rectangle. No outline. Send backward here. Format shape. Here I'm changing shape field for this kind of rectangle. I'm trying to choose here the correct color then I'm duplicating this shape with ctrl plus D I'm changing here shape fill for this second shape as you can see I'm copying or duplicating again the shape and I'm just changing the shape fill for this shapes as you can see that's what I'm doing then here every shape as you can see I'm sending backward you just need to click send backward until it's back behind the shapes or the shape you want to be behind i want this rectangle shapes to be behind the whole of this circle shapes here i'm just adjusting the way the height i'm moving these shapes Sorry for the motorbikes you guys can hear. Now, as you can see here, the hollow circle and the circle is one group. So I selected it because it's one group. And here I want to use a little bit of 
shadow so here I'm just applying some shape as you can see you just need to follow my steps here as as I'm doing nothing special it's really easy to create this by yourself you can maybe use other colors here I'm inserting another circle shape no outline shape fill is dark blue and here I'm adjusting transparency as you can see I'm adjusting size here because I want to do something you will see now I'm cutting these parts for this circle I'm using rectangle to cut these parts then holding the shift key I'm selecting first the circle shape then the rectangle and merge shapes subtract then I'm sending backward this shape and this is what I have it really looks awesome honestly especially with this transparency then here I'm just inserting some text boxes with the numbers then some text boxes with the description that's almost the easiest part here I'm just changing the numbers I'm duplicating the same text box and I'm just changing the numbers Here I'm inserting another text box with some description then I will duplicate this same text box as you can see here now this text box doesn't fill this rectangle so I will do a little bit of changes here as you can see so no problem everything cool I'm just changing the width for this rectang rectangles so it's good now here the holding the shift key I'm selecting the text box with the number text box with description and the rectangle and I'm grouping them into one group as you can see when I group them into one group the shape is again at the front so you just need to click send backward until this shape is back I mean behind the shapes you want to be because sometimes you want the some shape be behind maybe the first shape maybe be behind second shape here I want this rectangle shape to be almost behind everything now here as you can see I'm grouping this into one group this first shape with description is one group here I'm just applying animations for this shape I'm using fly in animation I will use a little bit of bow send you can just follow my duration here delay option too or you can just adjust your duration and your delay option 
for this half circle i used the wipe animation for the wipe animation in effect options you can use going from top from bottom from left from right which is awesome then for these rectangles i'm also using the wipe animation as you can see i'm changing here effect options i'm changing delay option and so that's it for this video guys you just need to follow my steps here and be careful here with the animations you need to be careful with the start option duration and delay option but as i said you can apply your duration your delay option the way you want the presentation last so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed this video this tutorial and i hope you will like it so here you guys in my next video Take care.